G'day guys, it's Goldie from Sharkman Charters here and today I'm going to walk you guys through on how to rig a barrel lure or well, how I like to rig a barrel lure. So what I'm going to start off with, I've got the skirt, a skirt of choice, about a 10 inch skirt. I've got a 10 Ojobu just to match the lure, three 1.5 millimetre crimps, some chafe tube and just some 200 pound leader and also some a little lighter, your, plot, yeah, your jinkine crimpers and just some scissors. So first off what I like to do guys is just measure out some leader. I wanted to go about one and a half arms length a leader, so you just measure it out. Go one, go two, that's about it. You don't need to go too long because if you do go too long that can help you lose the fish. Um, all right, so what you want to start off with guys first, get your two crimps, to thread them on the line. You can cut your line on an angle to make sure the crimp goes in through because you will have to double the line up through the crimps. So you always cut your line on an angle just to help it get it through. Then once your two crimps are on the line, you want to get your Tenno Jobu, place it on the line, and this is where we're going to begin a stiff rig. So once again, you always want to leave a nice length of leader because that's what's got to determine where your hook sits in the skirt. So always leave a nice, probably about five, six inches of leader for yourself. And for the stiff rig to happen, what you want to do is, you want to wrap once away from yourself, then twice, and then once you've gone up twice, what you want to go do is thread it back up through the eye of the hook. Not down, not up, you want to go back up through the eye of the hook. And make sure to pull it really, really tight, because those two lines can't be loose. Otherwise, if they're loose, then they rub on each other, on each other and can eventually rub you off and break and lose your fish of a lifetime. So once you've done that, make sure it's real tight. You want to grab your first 1.5 millimeter crimp, thread it on both lines. As I've said, you've cut the angle on the line so it can go right onto both lines easy. And you want to push that crimp right onto the line. Make sure to push that double over too, because that's what's going to help it keep it stiff. Reason being, being a stiff rig, it's not going to spin and it's going to sit in the skirt really nice. So then you want to get your crimpers. On the Jinkai crimps, I like to use the top one because we are using a bigger crimp, being a 1.5 millimetre crimp. And what you want to do is, you don't want to, you have to flare the end. So you always want to leave a, just a little gap between the end of it. You don't have to do anything special. And with these 1.5 millimetre crimps, guys, you will have to do it three times. So you do it once, little gap, twice, leave a little gap again, and make sure to flare the ends always. And that's what, this is what your crimp should look like after you've done three beautiful crimps and it looks nice and even and also good presentation as well. Then once you've done that guys, you want, this is where you want to grab your skirt and this is where you're going to measure the hook placement in the skirt. So what I like to do, I always feel for the bottom of the skirt, there's basically where the head is and that's where the, the crimp's going to sit because that's where the line goes through. And what you want to do guys is put your hook just where, because you want the hook tip just in the skirt. Like I like it just in the skirt, just like that. I like to measure it out. I put my thumb where the line is right on the two to measure it out. I keep my fingers on there and that's what I have to cut off. And that's because I have to cut that off, that's going to determine where the hook sits and that hook's going to sit right in the base of the skirt where I want it. So you cut where you've put your two fingers, make sure to cut on an angle because that's what's going to help you get the, get the crimp through. And this is what you want to do, this is a bit of a hard part. So what you want to do here is guys, to get your loops and uh, to all right, you want to moisten them up a bit, get a bit of lubricant on them so they don't rub or burn. And then what you want to do, get the two and make a bit of a V. You don't want to press too much and create a crease because that can cut you off, but you just want to make that V and that's going to help you make the twists a lot easier on yourself. And then you want to begin twisting nice, strong, tight twists. And you just slowly move your fingers up oh, as you begin to twist. And remember, you have to twist all the way to the end because you've measured that hook. So where, that, where the end of the line is, is where it's going to determine the hook is going to sit. So this is where you want to get your other crimp. Make sure it doesn't run up to the other end of the line. <laughs> you want to make sure it's right at the tippy top because as I said, you've measured it and that's, this is going to determine where your hook sits. So once you've got the tip of the line just at the top of the crimp, what you want to do is just hold it, get your crimpers, and then this is when you want to begin your, start, your three crimps. Once again, like the first one, flare the ends, because if you don't flare the ends, it's going to cut you off and lose your fish of a lifetime. Do the first, you flared the end, little gap in between. Do that one. Then remember, flare the end on the last one, always. And hopefully, because I've measured that, this hook is going to sit perfectly right in the end of the, 
in the end of the skirt. So then when you want to thread your line through the base of the skirt, up through the head, otherwise if you put it on backwards you're not going to catch a fish. Once you thread it through, hopefully with my measurements I've done it right and the hook should be right in the base of the skirt, as it is. And that's your perfect, perfect, perfect way to rig for a barrel. And then what you want to do is grab that chafe tube you've cut earlier. And what you're going to do, you're going to thread that other 1.5 millimetre crimp one. Remember, cut the end so it can go double up through the crimp. Place the crimp one first. Then you want to get your chafe tube you've cut. Place it on the line. And this is where you'll need a lighter too, guys, just to burn the end to create a mushroom. And I'll show you guys, when you burn this mushroom here, you don't want to overburn it, otherwise you could wreck the line. So you just want to do it so there's a nice little bulb on the end, basically forming a little mushroom. And that's going to help you keep, keep your line in the water as well as not slipping through the crimp. And you pull it tight. I haven't even crimped that yet, and I can guarantee it won't pull through. And there you go, I haven't even crimped that yet. And it's strong as an ox. And then that's when you want to do your three crimps. To the first one, flare. Remember, always flare the ends. Always take your time rigging barrel lures, guys, because you're after a fish of a lifetime, so you don't want, don't want to lose it because of a silly mistake. And once you've done that third crimp, you're right, you're done. You've made, you've done your barrel lure. You've done your right connection. And now you want to loop it up, wrap it up, all nice and neat. You don't want to crimp the crimp the leader or anything like that. You want it all nice and neat. Wrap it up. Keep wrapping it up. Then start threading the line through it a few times right till you get to the end of the loop. And then you can place that in your lure wrap or on your snap swivel and put it straight in the water. Thanks for watching guys. And that's how I like to rig.